Talofa and Pacifica, greetings to you all. My name is Sina Va'a Samuels and the Pudako that I will be sharing is of the legendary myth that hails from Samoa called Sina and the Eel. There are a few different versions shared across the Pacific, so I have decided to go with the one that resonates with me the most. I will be sharing this in a different form. It will be through a series of paintings with my narration over the top, I guess. So hope you enjoy. A long time ago, legend tells of a girl named Sina who lived with her parents in the village of Matsavai, Safune, Savai. Sina was a happy, well-behaved and beautiful young lady. Stories of Sina's beauty spread all over Samoa and the Pacific Islands. These stories reached Fiji, and Tuifiti, the king of Fiji, who was older than Sina, wanted to see for himself if the stories were true. Tuifiti was half human and half giant, and using his mana, he decided to turn himself into an eel and swim to Samoa. He arrived at the village pool and waited for Sina to arrive. Sina was swimming in the village pool when she saw a little eel. She caught the eel and kept it in a smaller part of the pool. It soon became her pet and they grew to love each other. Many years passed and then one night Sina saw that the eel had grown gigantic. The eel was old and with it its manna. The giant eel continued to follow her and Sina became afraid of it. She looked at the eel's eyes and in disgust she said, it stares at me with the eyes of a demon. Sina was so afraid of the giant eel that she fled to the island of Upolu and arrived at the village of Motaa while the chiefs were having a meeting. She begged the chiefs, please, I need help to kill the eel that is following me. The people of the village came to the beach with weapons to kill the eel, but the eel said to them, before you kill me, I would like to say something to Sina. The eel said, Sina, my love, I am not an eel. I am Tuifiti. I turned myself into an eel to be near you in your pool. Why? Because I wanted you to be my queen. But you became afraid of me, and now I am too old. When I die, cut off my head and bury it in front of your house. When a tree grows from it, use its fruit, because each time you use its fruit, you will see my face, and I will be with you. Sina buried the head as the eel requested, and from it... A coconut tree grew from the ground. When the coconut is removed from the husk, you can see three round markings on the coconut, and these represent the eyes and the mouth of the eel. This is the origin of the coconut in Samoa. <laughs> 